Aid on your side investigation. Holes. Closing loopholes. That's what one Florida senator wants to do to protect you from buying property with known sinkhole activity. And tonight he is pushing for new legislation. This all follows multiple aid on your side investigations into sinkhole real estate fraud. Yeah, we've been exposing sellers who collect hundreds of thousands of dollars from insurance claims and then sell the homes to someone else without saying a word about those sinkholes. Investigative reporter Shannon Benkin exposed this fraud. She's joining us now. And these fraudsters wanted to keep everyone in the dark here, Shannon, but you're kind of putting a spotlight on them. We're trying to, guys. Mm -hmm. our, our aid on your side investigation led to a federal criminal conviction. Still, there are home sellers out there who are trying to get away with this kind of fraud and now state senator wilton simpson tells me he wants legislation to stop them you didn't know there was a sinkhole there no. It was the lie heard around the nation. Our aid on your side investigation into home seller Glenn Jason and his wife Catherine led to the first federal conviction of its kind. Then we busted another seller. I have no comment. You have to talk to my lawyer. Period. Both pocketed insurance claims on sinkholes and lied about it on real estate disclosure forms. Brooksville Senator Wilton Simpson wants to put a stop to this prevalent, dangerous kind of lie. I am looking forward to doing legislation that would close these loopholes so that when folks buy homes in our area or any area of the state, that they will know for certainty there was not a sinkhole there. Simpson wants to make lying about sinkhole activity an automatic criminal offense with prison time. The more controversial part of his plan, he wants real estate agents and title companies held accountable too. That we're going to protect the consumer and it will come at a cost to the professional standing between the consumer and the home. Sometimes a simple public records check would bust lying sellers. If you're in the title insurance business, if you're a realtor, this is your business. This is how you make your livelihood. There's a certain level of professionalism. Pasco real estate broker Greg Armstrong is all for the new legislation. I probably don't go two weeks without it happening to somebody. A steady stream of sellers come to his Coldwell Banker office wanting to hide their big sinkhole payout. Chance for financial reward is so great because we're talking tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars that people are willing to roll that dice on the chance that they might get away with it. And that is what this comes down to, greedy home sellers. The only way to stop that, the senator says, is to make the punishment so severe that no one will want to risk it. Shannon, great story. Now, if you're a buyer or potential buyer, what can you do to protect yourself? Well, I have found that there are a few things you can do. You can check public records before you buy. You're looking for permits because if there was a single investigation, there'll be a permit. If it was fixed, there'll be a permit. So you want to look at those records and make sure that you find it before you purchase. Also, ask for a real estate disclosure form from the real estate agent because if the seller lies, you want to know about it later, you want to catch them. You'll have the proof. Absolutely, and be able to get out of it if you can because otherwise you might be stuck. Yeah. Thank you, Shannon. Mm -hmm.